Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. I'm your host, Daryl Smith, and today we're going to be going back to the land of China. That's right, we're going to be doing some Chinese spare ribs. And we got this recipe off of the website uh, amazingribs.com. Check that site out if you haven't checked it out. They got some amazing information out there when it comes to the world of barbecue, techniques, recipes, and uh, anything and everything you could possibly want to know about barbecuing and outdoor cooking, okay? So, hey, let me go ahead and show you the main ingredients to the recipe that we're going to be doing today. Guys, so what we have here is we have uh, one slab of uh, baby back ribs here. This is about uh, three pounds of baby back ribs here. Uh, the recipe really calls for two slabs, and I'm only cooking one today, okay? And then we have uh, soy sauce, hoisin sauce, um, sesame oil, ground ginger, uh, Chinese five spice, Tabasco sauce, honey, ground garlic, and ground onion. And it also calls for a half a cup of brandy or rum, okay? So let's go ahead and put this together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our marinade together, okay? So we're going to use all of our ingredients here. So uh, first thing we're going to have is our soy sauce. And I'll put the ingredients down, the, the measurements down at the bottom of the screen uh, while I'm doing this. Uh, our brandy. Here's our hoisin sauce. Okay. Mm, this is our sesame oil. Honey. And like I said, the recipe calls for two slabs of ribs, and this is enough marinade for two slabs of ribs. However, we're only doing one today, but what we're going to do is we're also going to try this recipe out on a few uh, thin cut pork chops um, and uh, some tenderloin medallions, okay? Uh, here's our Tabasco sauce. Garlic powder. Chinese five spice. Oh, got to get all that. That's some expensive little spice. Garlic powder. And this is uh, ground ginger. And uh, last but not least, uh, which I didn't mention in the ingredients before, but this is one teaspoon of red food dye. Now I know there's a lot of controversy about using food dye. Uh, it's such a small amount, I don't know if it's really gonna matter or not. You can leave this out and use a red curd bean paste or uh, some type of beet extract to add the red color if you want to, if you're concerned about the red dye. Uh, however, you're not going to get that authentic color. You'll still get the flavor, so you can leave it out if you want to, but you're not going to get that authentic red color if you leave the dye or the coloring out. So we're just going to go ahead and add that also. All right. So we're just going to mix this together. And then uh, once we get our marinade well mixed, we are going to prepare our ribs. So don't go nowhere.
All right, guys, so that was it. You saw we, uh, we cut up our baby back rib uh, in the individual uh, bones. We also cut our uh, tenderloin in half uh, to have it fit in the bag better. And then we got three uh, thinly cut pork chops in here also. So this is an Asian uh, Chinese uh, pork explosion in this bag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. We're gonna let this marinate for about four hours. And then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna prep our Weber so we can do a slow smoke. And, uh, and then we'll show you that setup and uh, show you that cook. So hey, hang around, don't go nowhere. Okay guys, we're out here on the deck now. We're gonna get our Weber together to get ready to cook our ribs and our pork. And uh, today we're gonna be using the uh, Grilla Q from uh, Changong Barbecue out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, and those guys out there were nice enough to send us a Grilla Q a while back. And um, it is a device that helps you divide your Weber kettle grill into two zones, a hot zone and a cool zone so that you can do long, uh, slow, low and slow cooks, okay? So let me show you how we got it set up. You can see we have our uh, Grilla Q sitting here and we have some water in it. Now water's gonna help uh, maintain the temperature or keep a constant temperature and give us some moisture during the cook. We have our charcoals on this side of the uh, Weber and we're gonna put about 10 to 15 hot coals on one side of it to start that minion effect, okay? And the grill goes right on top just like this and it fits in these two tabs here so that the grill cube will stand vertical without any problem so let's go ahead and get this bad boy fired up Okay, YouTube, that's it. We've pulled the uh, spare ribs off of the, the Weber. They cooked for about three, three and a half hours. Uh, we pulled the uh, pork tenderloins off when they reached uh, 148, 148, 148, 150 degrees, a little bit uh, higher than I usually pull them off. Um, and then we pulled the chops uh, by the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and have a taste test of these ribs. I'll tell you how this marinade worked out and uh, then we're gonna call it a, a wrap, okay? So let's go ahead and try one of these. And they smell fantastic. I even put a, a little cherry um, smoke on these here. The recipe did call for no smoke, but I figured the cherry uh, wood chips would uh, add a little bit uh, of smoke and plus help out with the red tint color. So let's go ahead and taste these. Oh, these are pretty good, pretty good. The only thing that I would uh, do different is, even though the soy sauce was supposed to have been the salty element, and it needs a little bit more of a sweet element, then um, I would add a little bit of salt on the base layer of the ribs. And then, um, according to the recipe, it was an optional step to uh, glaze these with some honey. So I think I'm gonna go back and put a few of these back on the grill and glaze these with some honey and uh, see how that turns out. But all in all, it tastes like a, a Chinese spare rib to me. So, well, that's all we have time for today. Uh, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. See you guys around the smoker.